kidding me? Sarazawa's got that lizard juiced. Damn right. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 biggest kaiju movie monsters ever. For this list, we'll be ranking the biggest and the baddest, the most gigantic kaiju to ever dwarf the silver screen. What's your favorite big bad? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Rathalos, 46 feet, Monster Hunter. The word kaiju by definition can refer to both giant fictional monsters as well as films in which they appear. We may typically only associate franchises like Godzilla with kaiju, but there are plenty of other worthy examples as well. Take Rathalos from the Monster Hunter series of games and movies. This flying beast is an adaptation of the classic wyvern that appears in many European myths, folk tales, and stories. Rathalos is a flying, winged, and bipedal dragon that approaches a size of nearly 46 feet, at least according to the Monster Hunter film. Elsewhere, Rathalos has also appeared in other franchises as well, including Final Fantasy and Metal Gear Solid. Number 19. Starro the Conqueror, 150 feet, The Suicide Squad. I call it Starro the Conqueror. That's meant to be derisive. Does Starro the Conqueror count as a kaiju? Well, we certainly think so, especially when it comes to the final battle of 2021's The Suicide Squad. This climactic, city-squashing assault feels like it's straight out of a vintage Godzilla flick albeit with a hive-mind starfish instead of tyrant lizards. Starro grows exponentially before this sequence, growing to 150 feet and providing quite the challenge for our band of mismatched supervillains. Director James Gunn's horror and exploitation pedigree is set on full display as the scene plays out, balancing both violence and black comedy to outstanding effect. I was happy floating, staring at the stars. Number 18, Rodan, 154 feet, Monsterverse. It's time for our first proper Toho monster to enter the fray. And who better to kick things off than the mighty Rodan? You got a catchy name for this one? Local legends call it Rodan, the fire demon. That's comforting. He's an old-school titan straight from the vintage Godzilla universe. Rodan was actually Toho's first kaiju film to be shot in color, while his MonsterVerse update is red hot and not to be messed with. He's 154 feet of wind-packing power, able to fly at supersonic speeds while serving as both friend and occasional foe to Godzilla and company. If there was a Mount Rushmore for classic kaiju, we'd vote for Rodan to take a prime spot. Duster 223, get out of there! He's on your tail, get out of there! Number 17, Lizzie, 200 plus feet, Rampage. Davis, there's something big in the river. Did the 1980s arcade classic Rampage possess enough plot to merit a full-fledged silver screen adaptation? No. No, it did not. We honestly have no complaints, however, because The Rock could sell us a car with three wheels and we'd still buy it. Lizzie and Ralph don't exactly have as much screen time as George in the movie, but the former definitely makes her 50-plus foot frame count whenever she's on screen. Lizzie serves as the main antagonist during the final battle, with Ralph primarily being a tertiary villain. Yet her speed, viciousness, and cunning more than make Lizzie a fearsome match for both George and Davis. You mess with me, mother! Number 16, Knifehead, 315 feet, Pacific Rim. The Pacific Rim franchise is one that's captured the imaginations of many film fans. 
In this way, it serves as connective tissue to the older generation that grew up watching Godzilla creature double features. Knifehead is one of the most memorable kaiju from the first Pacific Rim film, coming in at 315 feet. His design appears to be inspired from one of the Gamera franchise's antagonist, Giron. Thanks to the bladed facial design they both share, Knifehead, however, also possesses a protective shell and a hostile attitude, making it a problem for any Jaeger unfortunate enough to be in its path. <laughs> Number 15. Methuselah, 332 feet, Monsterverse. Methuselah may not enjoy a lot of screen time in 2019's Godzilla King of the Monsters, but that doesn't mean he doesn't possess plenty of fans. Kaiju maniacs struggled to catch a good look at him during these brief appearances, but came away with one massive impression of Methuselah's 332 foot proportions. The Titan looks like a giant, mossy mastodon of sorts, a mixture of plant and animal matter that's deep, earthy, and powerful. Time will tell how much of a part Methuselah plays in the MonsterVerse, but his unique appearance and massive size make it seem like a safe bet that we'll see him sooner rather than later. Good thing he's on our side. For now. Number 14. Kong, 337 feet. MonsterVerse. When we met this massive ape, he measured at around 104 feet tall, but in between his battles with skull crawlers, we learned that he was a young monster that could get even bigger. It wiped out his whole family. Kong's the last of his kind, but he's still growing. We saw the result of his growth spurt in Godzilla vs. Kong. While still not quite as tall as Godzilla, he still measures 337 feet tall. That means if Kong ever decided to visit New York City, he'd be able to look down at the Statue of Liberty. The giant ape's height is simply bananas. Let's hope he keeps that staggering size by feeding on kaiju instead of putting humans on the menu. Number 13, Raijin, 350 feet, Pacific Rim Uprising. We return to the Pacific Rim universe for our next pick, the giant kaiju known as Raijin. He's just over 350 feet tall with an electric personality. No, really, Raijin actually possesses an electrified jaw plastered on that grotesque face that only a mother could love. Meanwhile, his two-legged fighting stance and reptilian appearance lends Raijin physical qualities similar to that of a dinosaur such as the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Mega Tokyo suffers a lot of damage from the attack by Raijin and his fellow kaiju, while Pacific Rim fans just eat up the monster's strange design and impressive fighting abilities. Raijin's face plates are absorbing the hits and throwing the energy back at you. Let's see it absorb this. Number 12, Shin Godzilla, 389 feet. Shin Godzilla. The creature eventually known as Shin Godzilla mutates quite a bit throughout the course of its 2016 film. Eventually, however, this main antagonist grows to almost 390 feet, an apocalypse in physical form. This visual appearance of Shin Godzilla is a far cry from the almost cute and cuddly persona of the Showa-era G-Man. Instead, Shin Godzilla's protruding teeth, separating jaw, and demonic stare represent more of a frightening, horrific side to the franchise. This darker and more intense visual coincides with Shin Godzilla's immense size and impact as he demolishes the screen with his atomic breath. Number 11, Biolante. 394 feet, Godzilla vs. Biolante. Biolante has got to be one of the coolest Godzilla antagonists that's only starred in a single film. 1989's Godzilla vs. Biolante showcased the monster's tragic backstory and unique character design. 
BioLante initially takes a floral form via DNA splicing between Godzilla cells and those of a woman named Erika Shiragami. These feminine features are retained once BioLante reaches her crocodilian final form, which stands at an impressive 394 feet. Her healing factor is impressive, as is her ability to emit an acidic spit projectile alongside her carnivorous tendrils. Here's hoping that Biolante can somehow be raised from the grave to once again fight against, or even alongside, Godzilla. Biolante ga Number 10. Godzilla, 393 feet. Monsterverse. The Godzilla that appears in the Monsterverse is another example of a kaiju who grew between two movies. While it measured around 355 feet in 2014, in 2021 he stands at around 393 feet tall. This intimidating height makes him the biggest version of Godzilla to appear in a live-action movie to date. Godzilla backs up his massive size with atomic breath, tremendous strength, and the ability to release thermonuclear blasts under the right conditions. Its technical win against Kong alongside their destruction of Mechagodzilla might make it the most accomplished Godzilla ever. Number 9. Colossal Titan, 394 feet. Attack on Titan, the movie, part 1. Anyone who's seen the two part Attack on Titan anime knows that the titular creatures are violent, horrifying, and absolutely massive. These gigantic villains were also terrifying to see in live action. The biggest one of all was appropriately named the Colossal Titan. Towering at around 393.7 feet tall, this monster's huge size struck fear and resentment into the hearts of the surviving humans. This creature also made itself look more intimidating by radiating immense amounts of heat from its body. <laughs> While we knew humans were pretty minuscule when compared to these monsters, the colossal titan made its fellow titans seem like small fry. <laughs> Number 8. Mega Kaiju, 419 feet. Pacific Rim Uprising. While the Jaeger pilots were working hard to fight three kaiju, a corrupted scientist named Newton Geisler used technology to fuse the trio of antagonistic creatures together. Well, he's pretty big. The abilities and bodies of Raijin, Hakuja, and Shrikethorn were combined to form the Mega Kaiju. This creature stood at an incredible height of 419 feet. Next to this humongous beast, the Jaegers looked like toy robots. The Mega Kaiju intelligence, tenacity, and multitude of special abilities made it into a threat that nearly destroyed the world. The most terrifying thing about the Mega Kaiju is that its species might have an even bigger monster waiting in the wings. Number 7. King Ghidorah, 521 feet, Monsterverse. This version of King Ghidorah easily towers over our last entry. After awakening from a long nap in Godzilla King of the Monsters, it stretched out its three heads and stood at around 521 feet. Oh, this meant 2019's King Ghidorah was over 120 feet taller than Godzilla. Its humongous frame, gravity beams, and ability to regenerate made it a suitable candidate for the King of the Monsters throne. But judging how it treated cities and innocent bystanders, it wouldn't have been a benevolent ruler. Thank goodness Earth didn't succumb to its tyrannical rule. We'll take it. Number 6. 
Slattern, 596 feet. Pacific Rim. In the first Pacific Rim film, all of the kaiju emerged from a portal nicknamed the Breach. When the humans try to destroy it, a creature named Slattern comes out to stop them. If this massive creature stood at its full height, it's estimated that it would stand around 596 feet tall. How does this translate to the real world? Well, if Slattern was in Washington, D.C., it would be bigger than the 555-foot Washington Monument. What's wrong? You've reached the southwest window. Why are you hesitating? It's fine. I've just never been this high before. It's no wonder the precursors sent this massive kaiju to fight humanity. Unfortunately for them, they underestimated how determined Jaeger pilots were to keep the world spinning. Number 5. Destoroya, 755 feet. Godzilla vs. Destoroya. The makeup of Destoroya may initially be the result of the colonization of microscopic crustaceans, but this kaiju certainly grows up fast. That's because this colony is mutated by the oxygen destroyer that kills the original Godzilla in 1954. This evolution results in Destoroya reaching an astonishing 755 feet. The monster becomes so big, in fact, that he's able to wound and nearly kill the Heisei-era Godzilla on its own. Much was actually made at the time of Toho killing off the G-Man back in 1995. But don't worry too much, because Godzilla's son proudly took up his father's mantle. Number 4. Godzilla Earth. 1,043 feet. Godzilla, Planet of the Monsters. Although you could debate for days about the best version of Godzilla, there's pretty much no question as to which version of the kaiju did the most damage. In the 2017 animated film, the legendary monster was so destructive that humanity decided to find a new planet to live on. One of the reasons they fled is because this Godzilla is around 1,043 feet tall. And that's not a typo. It's indeed twice as big as 2019's King Ghidorah. This version of Godzilla has all of the usual powers this creature has, with the added ability to terraform the entirety of Earth. We can completely understand why humanity ran away from this impossibly large kaiju. Number 3. Clover. 6,500 feet. The Cloverfield franchise. Every monster movie fan remembers where they were when they saw a clover for the first time. Are you guys seeing this right now? Are you seeing this right now? Look, 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 look. Are you guys seeing this right now? This massive creature made a gigantic impact when it stomped into theaters in 2008. But you may be surprised to learn that the approximately 300 foot creature that appears was just a baby. In 2018's The Cloverfield Paradox, we saw a glimpse of what a clover could look like when it matures. Although it's hard to nail down an exact size, fans have estimated that this clover could be as tall as 6,500 feet. If that number is correct, it would be taller than two Burj Khalifas stacked on top of each other. Let's hope we never have to find out how big a clover really is. Number 2. Beludra. 13,123 feet. Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy. <laughs> Beludra may not exactly be a household name to those kaiju fans who aren't well versed in the Ultraman franchise. However, a simple cursory look or bit of research will reveal a kaiju that's gargantuan in height. Beludra makes an appearance in 2009's Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy as the combined creation of Ultraman's most infamous enemies. As a result, Beludra towers at over 13,000 feet. The villain controlling Beludra behind the scenes may be an evil Ultraman named Belial, but it's this titanic kaiju that looms high over almost any other giant monster we can imagine. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Void Ghidorah 65,616 feet Godzilla the Planet Eater Yes, you heard that correctly. This Ghidorah, nicknamed Void Ghidorah, measures over 65,000 feet long. If Void Ghidorah laid down in Manhattan, one of its necks could span over half of the island. In this film, a human cult wanted this version of the antagonistic monster to take out Godzilla Earth. But as soon as Void Ghidorah arrived, they quickly realized that this was the worst plan they could have come up with. This impossibly massive creature had the size and sheer power to destroy worlds, and almost anything standing in its way. Humanity was very fortunate Godzilla made sure this massive monster didn't completely wreck the Earth. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.